are you on this magical day? I'm Allison Charles, creator of InAweWithAllie.com. It's the spot online that you can escape to every single day to find new ways to feel more inspired, to bring more awe into your life, and just to feel more passionate about living. It's, that's what we all deserve. That's what we're all here for. So I challenge you today, go on my site, dig in there, explore and have fun and find one thing that resonates with you. One thing that you can try today to feel more pumped about your existence here. Only you can create your most magical life. And that brings me to today's topic. Now most of you know I'm insatiably and passionately curious about the world. I love to learn and I love to explore and today we're diving into one man's journey to have some major, major breakthroughs in a really unique and controversial way. And it's my hope that today's topic opens your mind, it broadens your horizons, and you're able to think about what's possible in this magical world in a new, insightful, or even awe-inspiring way. It's a tea, right? I mean, it's a brew. Can you explain well, what it is? What is ayahuasca? Okay, so I'm not an expert, I'm not a shaman, but what the what I understand is that there are like two different vines. A, a lot of the plants in the Amazon are, are medicine plants. They wouldn't call it necessarily a drug. A drug, I think, is more of like kind of a Western perspective on it. They would say it's, it's medicine. It's medicine for the, for the soul. I think there is kind of a distinction. Don't ask me where this happened, but somewhere along the way, somebody figured out that you take this plant and you take this plant, you put them together, and they suddenly you're going to be in space. Now, I'm not condoning drug use at all. I'm not promoting it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not telling you to go try this. I just want you to open your mind up. There's all sorts of magical, unique, expressive ways that we each get pulled to to try to live our best life. And for Dan, this is the route that felt right for him, and this is what he chose. It seems to me, from my experience, that they're shamans that travel around the country. They go from, you know, town to town. For the first ceremony I went to, that was where there were like 50 people up in this big yoga studio up upstate New York. You know, everybody's kind of ceremoni ceremoniously dressed in white as requested. And, you know, there's sort of like a containment of the energy that, you know, dressed this way. Everybody kind of prepare for this sort of thing. So you go up and you drink. You, you drink your whole batch in front of him. It's like a shot glass. Oh, just a little shot of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just drink a shot, and depending on how it was brewed, it could taste like, yeah. like dirt. It could be chunky. It could be thin. You know, everybody's got their own version. But you've never tasted anything like ayahuasca. It's like drinking dirt. This seems a little intimidating to me, so I'm wondering, as soon as you take that shot, and that ayahuasca is in your body, it's in your system, there's no turning back. The very first time you did that, were you not super scared? Yeah, I was nervous. Hell yeah, because I mean, you know, I knew I, I I knew I was going off on some journey. I mean, I'm taking one of the most high-powered hallucinogens on the planet, and so I knew that something was going to happen. I knew that doors were going to open up, and I guess the one thing that my friend told me was was key for any time you go on a journey like this is surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. And that's hard. It's hard to do that in life, let alone when you're being challenged by whatever your demons are or whatever is going to be coming up for you. And it'll take you to that place where you need to crack that window open. So for some people, they may be taken to some something that they need to confront so they can be free, so they can get to that next place Have in their you, life. Has that happened with you? Oh, yeah. Can you share, or is it too scary, too private? Like, what's what's one of the scary things you had to face and break through? The, this is the the hyper personal. Um, uh, I was molested when I was ten, and um, that was something that I just kind of had to deal with. I think in in the eighties there wasn't a there wasn't a whole architecture of, of help for kids the way there is today. And so, you know, whatever my parents did the best they could, I guess, but it was always something I felt like I had to kind of just absorb and just deal with. And so my whole life I've always wondered, like, what, what did that do to me? Mm -hmm. You know, how did that affect me? Never known, you know, um, my work in therapy. 
you know, talking to therapists never got me any closer to it. In ayahuasca, there was one night, probably, it was almost immediately, drank and then swaying a bit and then suddenly, boom, I find myself back in the room. Wow. With that, with the offender. Except what's happened is I've taken on the form of a lion. Interesting. I am me, I know I'm me, except I'm physically, and in this space, like in, in, in the room, I'm, I was on all fours. And I was moving like a lion, and there was a growl that came from my body. What was happening was I was stepping into myself and defending myself and holding space for myself in a way that I couldn't when I was 10. From that came this massive purge into the bucket. It was just like this, just like, and I could feel, I knew it was happening, and so I just surrendered to it even further. I'm sure and you wanted to just. Exactly, because that was the thing. It's like once I realized what I was tapping Get into. Get it out. Exactly. Get it out. And that's the thing is that it becomes, as opposed to the throwing up being this like thing you want to avoid becomes an opportunity. Right. That's why some people call it getting well because it's like, wow, here's that window. Go. Do it. Surrender to it. Get it out because that's what you're doing. You're freeing yourself of the stuff that you, of this garbage that you've just been holding for ever, mm -hmm. right? You've just become free of that that's held a grip on you in some way that maybe you didn't even know uh, for your whole life. I felt honored and I felt liberated and from then on it hasn't been a question. The whole what did that do to me? It didn't matter what it did to me. It didn't matter how it affected me. It didn't matter that my parents didn't do this or didn't do that. It didn't matter what this guy's problem was, the offender, none of that mattered. It was about relieving myself of the burden, relieving myself of the experience, and that stuck. And all my years of therapy could not achieve what happened in that single night. That's amazing. Each time has been a different ingredient. A different awakening of a, sorts. Yeah, right. I mean, and you've done it how many times, how many journeys? Have seven. You, seven, and will you do it again? Yeah. And but it's not, but this is an interesting thing is like, I remember, I've told my family about this. I've told my dad, told my mom, my stepmom, uh, they all know about it and they've seen the difference. That's been the interesting thing. They've been like, something is different about you. And my mom, you know, naturally, because she's my mom, she's like, well, you know, I, I hope you don't get addicted to it, right? Right. But it's not like that. That's the interesting thing. It's not the sort of thing you're like, dude, we're going to go out and do ayahuasca this weekend. It's you know? not about that. No. I mean, I, I'm kind of reluctant because it's like, I know every time I'm going, pretty much every time, I might get my ass kicked. Yeah, it's going to be intense. And like you said, it's deep work. Yeah. And that's it. It's work. Yeah. So what would you say to someone, not specifically contemplating trying ayahuasca, but just someone that's trying uh, to have a breakthrough of their own, who needs some, some courage, who's ready to face something new. Every time I've ever dared to go inside, any time that I've ever dared to like go into the space, the, the spaces that I've been deathly afraid of going into, it's never as bad as I thought it was. And it's always worth it. It's always worth it. Because I'm freer than I've ever been in my life. It's a lot of big takeaways from ayahuasca. Big. Is there anything else you want to say about it before we uh, wrap the talk up? Well, you know, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. You freaking got me on that one. But, you know. Ugh. So here's a, this was a twisted thing. This was, this totally did not, I did not expect this to happen. In what? Ayahuasca. There is a sense of humor in the universe. Yes. You know, as we grow up, we get more serious and, you know, we have to deal with the world. We have to deal with jobs, money, and, then, you know, whatever. I'm dealing with that stuff. I got, I got more issues. It's not like mine are gone. There's always something to work on. But throughout it all, you got to have a sense of humor. you got to keep that, that childlike part of you. Like, when, when you were 14, what was it that you laughed at? You know, what mm -hmm. was it that you... you 
what was the foundation of like your sense of humor? For me, it was like airplane movies and you know, like all the the slapstick stuff. I, I keep it alive. It's it's so important. It's so important to laugh and just have a sense of humor about stuff. Well, thank you for you know sharing with the world your your journeys and like opening up and being honest about like one of the you know big moments that and big breakthroughs that you, you know the, i think the more open we are about this stuff the more it makes it possible for other people to do it and and that again you know me sharing about being molested so many people in the world this has happened to you know but they don't talk about it. the shame about it Get it out, give it air, bring air into it, bring oxygen to the experience, then you get to release it. Mm -hmm. you know, and then it makes it okay for somebody else to say, wow, that happened to me. So that's why I share it openly. All right, well, let's keep introducing more and more releases out into the universe. Um, thank you, Dan, for sharing your transformation through ayahuasca with us. And if you want more magic, you can always hit up in allwithally.com, sign up for the newsletter, and leave your comments. If you've had breakthroughs, if you've done something that you were scared of and you're proud of yourself because you were courageous, um, if you have something you just want to release and get off your chest, leave a comment on the blog. I'm always happy to hear your stories. So thanks for joining us. Much love to you all. Bye-bye. Oh, here's something I want to release. No, you're not going to fart. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. That was good. Fabulous. That was great. Yeah. Thanks, sir.